since I've been gone, a lot of stuff has happened around the house and um, in the sense of our pets. And we've got lots of babies right now. We've got baby crayfish, we've got baby uh, geckos, crusty geckos, and we've got baby uh, frogs actually, milky tree frogs. We've got a whole bunch of uh, tadpoles at the moment. So uh, if you are interested in seeing how many of those guys are doing, I'm hoping to get those videos out over the next few days, so stay tuned and subscribe, that way you know when they come out. So when it comes to breeding crayfish, all you really need to do is put a male and a female in the same tank together and uh, eventually the male will uh, grab the female, flip her upside down and, you know, do what he does. And it looks violent, I'll say that. Like the first time I remember seeing it, I was definitely concerned about my crayfish and yes, damage does occasionally happen, but for the most part, usually everybody ends up being okay during this time. They might clip a whisker or something like that, but uh, most of the time everybody ends up being okay. After that, you may start to, to notice that your female will start nesting. Uh, you can take the male out after you've seen that they've uh, mated and just give the female the tank. It's my preferable choice is you just put the female alone with her eggs. Uh, they'll start forming underneath her tail and uh, they'll either start white, black, and then uh, they'll slowly metamorphose into little crayfish under there. They'll hang on to their mum for a little while and they'll start to drift off away from mum and eventually um, the mum will be sick of her children and she will kick them all off one night and the night that you didn't notice that she no longer has her babies on her tail, she'll normally be walking around the edge of the tank and stuff like that looking for a way out. Uh, so you want to take her out then because she will eat her own babies and she's really trying to get away from them. Um, so you want to take her out and just leave the babies in the tank. And uh, crayfish are quite messy, so you're going to want to clean the water, I'd say, every few days. As soon as you notice like stuff piling up near the bottom, it starts getting kind of gross. Uh, you're going to want to filter out at least the bottom of that with like a python thing and uh, give them some new water because uh, out of most things, crayfish are pretty bad for waste. So when it comes to a crayfish's diet, there is three things that I like to use m the majority of the time, and that would be shrimp pellets, uh, bloodworms, and java moss because uh, they love to eat plants. And uh, I'd like to think that they need the greens, if you would, to some degree. So I grow java moss in a separate tank, um, and I throw it into their tanks every once in a while so they can get a nice green meal. And they will eat it overnight, like it, it never lasts. Don't put your crayfish in with a planted tank because they will turn up all your plants, kill all your plants, and uh, you won't be happy about it. So if you're gonna make a crayfish tank, don't put plants in it, live plants. Even plastic plants are no good because they're gonna chew it up and make little plastic bits and stuff like that. I learned that one the hard way. It's best to not have any kind of um, plastic stuff in with your crayfish because they can rip chunks off of it and they're gonna make a mess of everything and I'm sure it's not good for them. So um, avoid any kind of plastic. I just go with like rocks, um, and stuff like that and they do like a higher current uh, you normally find them in like rivers and stuff like that so um, a good pump is always good if you're going to be keeping them in a, a larger tank for a long period of time So I uh, did a bunch of filming of my crayfish, I even had uh, put my GoPro in the water so you can see how 
she treats her babies when she's inside, uh, her little shelter there, and she's fanning them out. Um, so I think that's actually kind of neat footage, and uh, you can see that here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's uh, not the most informational video and stuff like that, but I actually do have quite a bit planned for the next few days, and I kind of wanted to start with one of my easier videos. I already had this one half made, so I wanted to finish it. And uh, I hope you enjoy the content I make. I do plan on uh, trying to get more content out a little quicker than I am right now. Um, so if you do like seeing pets, I do a lot of how-to videos on how to make like farms and stuff like that for these animals. and. Uh, uh, also, how to upgrade their aquariums, how to, you know, make sure you're doing stuff right. I try to do my best. Again, I don't know everything, so you can always go and check other places. There's lots of other YouTubers out there who do videos on how to care for your pets. And one thing I like to do is go to all the videos, find who, what everybody agrees on, and, and try and go with that for the most part. We'll tune in tomorrow. Hopefully I will have another video up showcasing some of my other babies I got right now. I would hopefully get my uh, my tadpoles or my crested geckos out in the next couple of days. So I hope you uh, stay tuned for that. If you want to see it, subscribe and you'll know when it comes out. Thanks guys. Have a good day. Bye.